Coat in the salon today. Hi, a celebrity guest. Please, anybody who's for a donut. Ricardo's behavior puts it all to the test. Out. 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 And what this client can do with her chest. I've heard a rumor that you can hold a pint glass in there. Yes. <laughs> It's 10 o'clock on Sunday, and manager Paul has called his usual weekly team meeting, which all staff must attend. This week, the salon's been invited to take part in a prestigious hair show, where 20 of the world's most famous salons showcase their look for 2003. Anyway, it's important to Paul that all staff this, this are involved. Well, well, obviously, this show is uh, coming up this next Sunday. I know it's predominantly kind of hair, but I still want you guys to get involved with nails and stuff like that. We should have our models finalised today from the casting. Hello. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. So just, just jump in there and take a seat. Oops, sir. On Thursday, we're going to go through the models and the looks. We've got to try and hold our own up there and, and do a really good job. And I think we're more than capable of doing that. Morning. Good afternoon. <laughs> One time. <laughs> what? Is that meeting? No, no, no. We're just having a picnic. <laughs> Was it 9.45 today? Go on. It's 9.45. Thank you. This week's going to be a bit of a busy week, so can we make sure everyone gets here on time and then, we, and then be aware of their appointments and their breaks and stuff like that? Let's not hang out in the staff room. You know, if you've got things to do, you need to do them. All right, let's get ready and get changed and let's get going. We have a meeting at the beginning of the week. It starts at 10 o'clock on Sundays. Hold on, what time do you start the meeting? 10, 10. o'clock. Every Sunday. Every Sunday. Every Sunday. Every Sunday. Thursday, I know I've got to be here at 9.45. Yeah. I'm very, very sorry. I really don't know. Every Sunday, mate. You have to get in a bit earlier. You can't leave it till last minute. When I was told that I didn't, I wasn't told Sunday. When was it? I was at the meeting every Sunday. God, I missed that. There's a bloke booked in this morning for a crack sack and back. Another hole. <laughs> She's only done one before, and she said that she only did it down to the sort of there. But I mean, mate, come on. How painful that was that, mate. I mean. God, you didn't realise how nervous I Sabrina, looking forward to your crack sack and. Have you told your lady what you're doing later? I think I need a practice aid. Will you just be my model just later? I think I might want the old sack done as well, though. It's all right. Ollie can do that. <laughs> I don't know. I think I need to put this hair up today. Look. Better, huh? That's better. Yeah, that's better. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Do you have elastic band? No, I haven't. What is it? How was your weekend? Oh, it was excellent. Where did you go? Ricardo, yes. Ricardo, do we have to do that in the middle of the salon? When we do your hair, go at the back and do it. <laughs> you have to do it in the middle of the salon. <laughs> Sabrina practices her waxing technique on Oliver. And then we'll expose this buttock here. Now, if he wants it underneath here... Oh, I think you may, be, you may be best to get him to turn over. To his front? Yeah, if you want to do the inside here. No, man, I don't want to see that. Yeah, I suppose... <laughs> and do, like, the ballerina no, no, turn thing. Turn him on his side and then move the, the, the knee like that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Nothing's hanging out, is it? All? Well, see, that's it. It's going to hang out here. Yeah, but I'm not going to. You're going to have to keep the towel. Okay, right. You've got to keep them all. This is going to have a towel here. All oh, right, okay. I won't be hanging out. When then. I'm doing this side, I'm not going to expose that side. Yeah, yeah I just. 
Okay, and how far is he, are you prepared to go? I'm not doing no balls, mate. No, I mean like in. Yeah, this is want, it. Now, this is what I don't want to go as... Part, I'm not being funny, but some guys want you to part the cheeks. Because like, they don't want like a Brazilian strip. No, I can't go inside, mate. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ricardo, you turn up late and then you spend a walk around the salon doing your own hair. Chill out a bit. I am. Do your own hair out the back or in the staff room, please. I was about to it's, it's not a poodle parlour. It's coming out of the staff room. God. You don't listen. I went. I went there. God. Military service or what? <laughs> it was. I went in there. This complaint, I went. And then you walk out looking at yourself in the mirror. Do you think that looks really... Be really honest. Do you think you doing your hair in the middle of the salon looks professional? If you want this to be a salon, like a normal salon, yeah. every single salon, we all do each other's hair. So, Tony Guy, you can do your hair in the middle of the salon while there's clients in there. I'm not saying the music okay. salon. I was doing, doing my hair. I was just going like that, looking at my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Sabrina's afternoon client, 20 year old trainee air steward Liam, has arrived for his first ever waxing treatment. Hello. What? Liam, you're the fat wax, aren't you? Oh, I don't know if she'll go this far as that. Wow, Ricardo, you're really working hard today. I know. Oh, I've worked really hard. I think I've done my, my part today. That's it. I can have my lunch. It's early afternoon, and Sabrina yeah. sets to work right, waxing Liam. You're, you're building up, aren't you? To that I am, babe. I'm giving you a little bit of a taste. You know, like you go to a restaurant, you have your starter, <laughs> and you have your main course. This is my You're starter. definitely going to have your dessert. <laughs> <laughs> my bottom's never had so much attention. <laughs> you're young. Right, really pull it this way out. Are you having a go? I'll leave it there. <laughs> i just hold your eyes to it. <laughs> Deep breath, Ow! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> You're right, babes. <laughs> Liam's been on the bed for almost an hour. And after giving him the smooth back yeah, and buttocks he desires, Sabrina bit. moves on to the bikini line. I must say, any guy that has this done, this bit is very brave. No, you don't. Oliver, no. Listen, that's one part I teach you in boot therapy. You must conquer no, the client. No, not about the pain, about the... <laughs> <laughs> about the reputation. Seriously, is it that bad? Is it? <laughs> right, come on, the new devil. Let's get you around. It's the end of the day, and everyone gets down to some serious cleaning. So Ricardo has to come and do the mopping. <sighs> Where's AWOL? Where's AWOL gone? Right, come on, night guys. Let's take Ricardo and Let's show him how to use a mop. <laughs> we'll get you one that matches your outfit next time, yeah? Okay, it's the first time in the salon that Ricardo's used a mop. Is it okay? Look at yeah, Can you, you, you just clean that? Or should I do it? No, I do it. <gasps> oh, I probably will work at McDonald's after here. <laughs> Twelve minutes past ten on Monday morning. Yesterday, morning. Ricardo was late for the weekly meeting. With just Thank three you. minutes to spare, he makes his entrance. Hello. 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 Good morning. morning. Hey, Ricardo. Ricardo. You know who you look like there for a second? Ricardo. 
What? I'm impressed, mate. Yeah, I know, me too. Can't oh. believe it. Oh. Yeah. Made a mistake, turned up on time. Yeah, I know. Shall so I go back? No. Yesterday, Ricardo complained that he had too many clients. Well, Today, the same number of clients have been booked in. No, he's just saying that he's got five clients. He doesn't want five clients. A lot, like almost every day. Five, 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 five. five. But it compensates for the lack of cleaning you've been doing, isn't it, darling? Piece of Well, clean, I clean your mouth through the bloody bleach. Hey, listen, I'll give you a hand blow dry. Don't stand there and have a go at me about it. Then, I, right? Am I having a go at you? You are. You're saying that you've had five men every day and you don't want to do I, five men. That's not men. having a go at you, love. It is, because you're telling me that having, you having five clients, when if they've, if they've booked you an extra clients, Ricardo, there's nothing I can it's do about fine, it. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. But don't stand there and call me a alright? Because as I don't mind. Like oh, you are. Talking about cleaning, bringing out cleaning. Hmm? You are being no. I'm not being a bit, I was just joking Talking with you, just like we were joking with you yesterday because you made a funny comment about it, so I'm just joking. If you can't take a coat, Ricardo, then... Ricardo's 10.30 appointment is Ryan, a freelance writer, who describes himself as a keen observer of people. He's come in for a trip. You're Garrett Stewart. Well, I can be Stuart. Are you Stuart or Ryan? Ryan? Ryan, how are you, my darling? I'm not too bad. How are you? Good, I'm fine, thank you. Paul plans to have chats with individual stylists, starting with Sonia and Ricardo later today. Have you been to the gay village in Manchester? Um, no, I don't like gays. So look at <laughs> <laughs> well, you're talking to me, love, aren't you? <laughs> Paul overheard Sandra's mix-up over Ryan's name. When the clients come in, mm -hmm. you always try and guess their name, and I would say three or four times a day, you're going to be wrong. Oh, wrong. No. So don't... It's a bit embarrassing, isn't it, for the guy. You must be... And it's not, so just try and... You are so rude, you are today. He's terrible, this he one here. He was staring at me this morning. Was he? Yeah. You know what? She, she called me, don't come bitching. Don't do that, doesn't suit you. Does it not? Put you up a bit. <laughs> right, don't come <laughs> bitch. You are, I'm going to get you later. I'm going to raspberry you. It's early afternoon. <laughs> Paul calls Sonia into his office for a chat. And you can, you can either do one or two things. Just carry on the way you're going. Mm. Or try and develop yourself. To become. This isn't me in here at all. Is it not? I know you've got to be professional in there, yeah. but I'm quite um, amusing, quite funny, and quite loud, really. My goal is is mm. to make you a better hairdresser before you leave. Yeah. That's my only. Mm. That's my only goal. But this this is probably the hardest bit to talk about for me. It's how you look as a person. Mm. Twenty nine with bunches, <laughs> and, a, and a Mr. Yeah. Man T-shirt. I don't think is. <laughs> cool. I think you should be looking a bit more sexier than mm. than a teenager. Next week we get your hair done before Friday, mm. and then Friday we're going to hit the shops. Mm. Uh, and, I'll, and I'm going to pay for some of it. Oh yeah. Because I'm going to because I'm going to have to look at you for the next six yeah. weeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you to put a toner in, in, in here. In here, yeah. Yeah. Me, I don't put a toner. You put a toner if you want. Oh, are you joining me? We are like that oh, cat, cat fight today. Oh, thank today. you very much. I don't know. I, I did ask oh, if he was booked for colour. I did color. ask him and he said, categorically, no. Well, no, we I didn't. We need to turn it down. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I did look in the, in the see if it was a gap there. There isn't. Have a look. See, speak to Mel if she can do it. He's the gaffer. Listen to him. Do you want to turn? He's the boss. Listen to him. I don't listen to anyone. I'll listen to you if I don't want to. No, you've got to be sincere, you know, you can't... Uh, sincere? What, me? You're you telling me to be sincere? You'll, you will never have a boyfriend, a long and meaningful relationship, yeah. unless you have 100% commitment and you don't go tartan it about. Well, that's why I don't have one. So you just go mm. for the sex, then? Well, I'll go for whatever's in the market. Do you know what I mean? No, what I'm saying is you're giving the wrong 
impre impression? To who? To the general public. I don't care. That's me. Well, you should because it gives it gives the gay community a bad name. Oh, you stop uh, having a go at me. Don't I'm not having a go, Ricardo. I'm trying to save your life. You I'm not bloody uh, giving any impression, bad impression to gay at all. You're getting annoyed now, aren't you? I do believe you really look lovely. Sorry. I do believe you made me look nice. You believe what? You've made me look nice. Do you think so? I think so too. Yeah. yeah. It's six o'clock and Ricardo awaits his chat with Paul. Have you got to go in there now? Probably. I'd love to be a fly on the wall in there. Nothing's going to happen. Just keep calm, deep breaths. Uh, Ray, mm. just going to have a one to one. And can I bring my tea? Uh, yeah, you can bring your tea. As long as you don't throw it at me halfway through. Mm. <laughs> oh, no, no. What is that? I haven't got the energy, Paul. Timekeeping, I would say it's poor. Yeah, but it improved. <laughs> no? On time now. Ricardo. I'm not early. Ricardo, your timekeeping is poor. I'm poor, I'm poor. Okay, I'm well, I'm we need to work on that, otherwise I'm going to give you a written warning. <laughs> okay? I cannot be seen yeah. to be letting you get away with it. Yeah. All right? Because I, it makes me look bad. So I don't know what... But you, can't, you have to get verbal warning before, isn't it? Verbal and written. How You've had work? your verbal. Now. This is your verbal. Oh, is there? Yeah, next time is a written. There's, there's a, a lot of comments about uh, uh, Ricardo's lazy needs to sharpen up. They like you, but they're saying that. Mm. Right? Uh, <laughs> Ricardo's lazy needs to get off his Brazilian ass. <laughs> <laughs> this has come down from head office. Well, what is it? It's a letter. Oh, God. <laughs> Both the viewers and your, your manager, Paul, have noticed your unwillingness to pitch in and assist your fellow staff members. Mm. All right? Mm. We've talked about all this. Yeah. In addition, you have been late at least three times. Yeah. Head office must remind you that the salon operates on teamwork. Yeah. And in order for you to understand this more effectively, has asked viewers to decide mm. whether or not that you should spend a day working as a junior. As a junior? What do you mean? <laughs> well, basically, uh. because you've been sitting on your ass uh. and being late for work, uh. you might be working with Vass and Karina for the day. Yeah, dad. right. See, they dream on. Tuesday morning, 10 a.m. in the salon. Ricardo has not been pulling his weight this week. Yesterday, Paul called him into his office to tell him that viewers have been invited to vote on making him a junior for a day. So he'd better pull his finger out. Oh, look at you today, baby. Mm -hmm. Look at you today, eh? And <laughs> a saucy little thing. 10.27am, and Sonia's first client is already here, but Sonia's yet to arrive. What was your name, sorry? Sonia. Uh, you are Sonia? Yeah. OK, cool. If you just... Hang in there for a bit, all right? <laughs> Chill out. Paul's been cracking down on staff timekeeping this week, Lord. so when Sonia arrives 15 minutes late, she goes straight to apologise. <laughs> I'm very sorry I'm late, Paul. <sighs> I overslept. You overslept. And everything's just completely gone wrong this right. morning. Look at me hair. <laughs> it's one of those Two days. Two days this week. I know, I'm sorry. You can't I'll be late three times in a week. Really? I'll get very upset. <laughs> oh, God. All right, I'll do my best. OK, make sure you do your best. I will. Sorry. Your, your client's waiting out there. OK. Were you late today, or just on time? Half ten I got in. Well, that, that's not like... Well, one more, apparently. That was appropriate. Yeah. 
Sabrina's first client, Ashley, arrives for an all-over tanning treatment, accompanied by her friend, Leanne. Hi. I'm going to do your face. You always agree to say. The client is here for the, for the right, tan. Theo. She's got the biggest tits in the UK, and she's just walked in. Right. Look at him. Oh, you've seen you one of us. Go. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Off you go, lads. Where do you come from? Yeah, I'm a man. You look amazing. Oh, thank you. Can I take your jacket for you? And your scarf? What's your name? Hello. You're a legend, ain't you? Oh, okay. Look how tall you are. How tall are you? <laughs> so what you haven't done today? What you haven't done today? Coming up on the salon. Love is in the air. It's Tuesday morning in the salon. Paul's cutting his 10 o'clock. Karina's washing hair, and Sonia and I Ricardo are in the staff room. <laughs> Sonia had a chat with Paul nice yesterday, and, and they discussed and updating her think? image. Well, I've been criticised all my life. <laughs> Have you? Do this, do that, do this, do that. And I've always done it, so I'm going to stand my ground. I'm proud of myself, I've got confidence. Good. I'll come shopping with you, Ricardo. You want to do with me? Please, yeah. OK, I'll do for you. I don't want some fashion freak taking me around saying, you look good in that yellow flimsy top. You go wear these tights. Fine, all right. All right. I, I am what I am. I will be honest with you. Mm. I mean, I don't want to hurt you. One thing you must have to do, you'll have to tone that blonde down. What does blonde Yeah, well... It's too bright. It looks very, very bright. Very Marilyn mm. Monroe. Really? Sabrina's preparing glamour model Ashley for her tanning treatment by exfoliating her skin. <laughs> Ashley has 32 oh, hate breasts, the largest in Britain. She's had three breast enlargements so since the silicone, age of 21. Um, it's a silicon shell, and I went for like a year just having like 50 mils put in, you know. Um, so to do it gradually rather than uh, put it all in there at once. It takes the elasticity of the skin, yeah. Well, that's good because yeah, you don't get like a stretch then, do you? Straight, yeah. <laughs> you going on any holidays this year, girls? Oh, I always do. I can't live without holidays. Caribbean, I absolutely love it. Yeah? I've been to the Dominican Republic for the last two years, so I fancy Cuba. But I always take my little one with me. She loves it as well. Well, I think that's yeah. nice if you can do that. Cause she went to Chicago when she was 12 weeks old, because I went to do some TV out there. You know, people say kids restrict you from doing things, don't they? No, but it's, I think it's the I've parents. i along with me, yeah. That's what you know, like. So, you know, and I think, you know, if you bring them up to sort of travel and That's stuff it. and not make it an issue, then it never becomes an issue, does it really? Nope. She loves going on aeroplanes. But you couldn't play with them, AD. You couldn't play with them. Why not? Because they, you... I don't know, you can't squeeze them like that too hard, can you? Oh, yeah, I'd, I'd get one like that. <laughs> That's what, I do Come on. That's what I do with those. <laughs> An hour later, and Ashley's all over body tan is complete. I hope you enjoyed that. Ashley, this. I'm going to be all bronze tomorrow. Every right day, then. staff keep what a diary for the salon website. Aidy records oh, his in a dictaphone. Yeah. Today's Tuesday, and I had the most amazing experience of 29, 30 years and three months of life. I've seen the most awesome, awesome, awesome pair of boobs. Forget the rest of the day. I did a wicked makeover, but those boobs were absolutely incredible. Come, come through this way. How's your turn? How's your turn? She had a large area to work on, she's getting it. That's mad, isn't it? It's crazy, I love it. Well, I, I've heard a rumour that you can hold a pint glass yes, in there. Yes, <laughs> She did it the other day. Oh, <laughs> perfect. You know oh. you're, you're a legend. Oh, Actually, we're on lunch, but... oh. <laughs> Ricardo's off to a premiere tonight and wants his hair washing before he goes. Paul, oh, can I ask you, can I have my hair done? Yeah, we're going to do a bit in rollers. 
and we'll do a set. <laughs> Granny set. Can you imagine? Okay, let me put it in rollers for you. And then we'll straighten it out afterwards. It's minging. Big booth one. Come on, get it washed quick. Do you want a shampoo for me, please? Yesterday, Ricardo was told that if he didn't muck in with salon duties, he'd spend the day working as a junior. Viewers have been voting on the website, and with still one day to go, Paul yeah. gives him an update on how the vote's yeah, yeah. been going. Loads of people have voted, right? Uh, to make him a junior. To make him a junior for the day. Really? And so far, 81% of the public... No. What do you mean junior? <laughs> oh, no. 81%? Yeah. I don't mind, darling. Does he have to help us as well with all the bins after waxing and things like that? Yeah? yeah, yeah. yeah? yeah. Honey, I'll be a good junior. I'll be good in anything I do. In anything I do, I'm the best. It's 10.17 okay. on Wednesday morning, and Ricardo is the last member of staff to arrive at the salon. He's morning, late for the darling. second time this week, but nobody seems oh. to have noticed. Bloody wind. Oh, not bad, I don't know. Ricardo and Sonia's first client of the day is 23-year-old PR Hello, student, Hello, my love, you all right? How are you? Cool, can I take your name? Oh, God. Best I ain't got no more drawers, no? I'm missing a drawer. What's it? Earlier this week, Ricardo was pulled up for spending more time preening himself than cleaning the salon. The viewers have been voting to decide if he should spend a day working as a junior. Not very good anymore. Don't you start. 29 year old admin assistant Danny has just split up with his long term right, girlfriend. He's having colour with Mel and a cut with well. AD. I'm gonna grab AD. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, right. is to turn me into the Beckham from Peckham. If you can do it, son. Right. Maybe if you do right as it is right in the middle here. Blonde? As it is, like you've got a bit more blondes there. Yeah. What do you think? I think that's nice on the packets. Then in between the packets, all the rest of the hair here. Here, here you put a nice you know, caramelly colour. Yeah. yeah. How am I gonna get through? How am I gonna get through? What have I? What have I? What have I done to deserve this? What have I? <laughs> <laughs> All the girls about like you in here. <laughs> and whereas um, Sabrina thinks you're really sexy. Sabrina? <laughs> have a little look. Say hello to Sabrina. Hello, darling. Ah, oh, look at her, man. Taking on chance? a cheer, man. Any chance? <laughs> Shut up, AD. <laughs> and what about Sandra? <laughs> so what about your boyfriend? I don't have a boyfriend. You don't have a boyfriend. No. OK, then. So you know, are you on a look for it, or...? Yeah, I, my problem is I'm very lazy. This pretty gorgeous face. <laughs> You're too kind. Terrible. No, I'm not kind at all. I'm truthful. And yourself? Got lots of admirers? No, yeah. Right. <laughs> I should be lucky. Oh, I'm sure you have. Two hours after he walked through the salon doors, Danny's cut is complete. That's true. Wicked. Yeah, yeah, you're the that brother. Mm. Carry off well. Mind you, the last one is not bad. Have a look at that. Oh, we like that. <laughs> you're right, you look lovely. Good See job. Ya. Looks cool, doesn't it? I'm not sure about the lunchbox. It doesn't seem that big. <laughs> I hadn't looked. <laughs> God, he was gorgeous. Where did you get your belt from? My belt? Yeah. From Oh, it's very cool. It's nice, isn't it? <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Huh? No, nothing. It's my clothes. <laughs> the girls fancy the guys fancy her. Oh, cool haircut. Be cool. Let's see you looking at him as well. Yeah, he was. She had her eye on him. Right. Right. I've got his number. I've got his number. And I have him there. <laughs> huh? He's written it down in there. Melanie's taking men's Shh. phone numbers, Paul. I'm not. She is. I'm not. Very unprofessional. Very unprofessional. <laughs> Look how red I got. <laughs> the 
five minutes yeah. after leaving okay, the salon, Aidy's client Danny returns with a little something for Sandra. <laughs> Please. Yeah, it's just through there on the right hand side, yeah. <laughs> Do you think he gave someone's number? What happened? Did he? Ooh, with a number. <laughs> He's just giving me his phone number. It's <laughs> hot in here, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <Not rosy. laughs> The salon has been chosen to take part in a prestigious hair show where 20 of the world's most famous salons will showcase their trends for 2003. Today, both the models and the stylists are working on their look for the show. Avocado. Sorry. Oh, you meant going there? Oh, sorry. No, no, so no, you are working there. Just what was what with that multi texture? I think if this top layer was left almost straight and then all this through here. Was all, was all really, really set, so it's really tight curl. Yeah. His hair's probably a little bit, a little bit greasy. So that's yeah. shampoo, yeah. gown, obviously shampoo. Once you have it, not too much conditioner, and just blast it dry for us. Ah, cool. The concept is curly with areas straightened, and I think on this. How about some pieces here in the straight? Again, it's been sort of done, isn't it? It's been done and dusted. That long, straight, curly, straight, uh, crimped. It's all a bit naff. Because there's two guys. I just think it's going to be too too uniform if you get like all curly and a veil on the top. It's going to be but too... But it's hard. I just think it's hard. If you start doing straight bits there, it tends to look a bit naff. I think it just looks a bit mm. all bit crimped, a bit straight, a bit curly. It, you mm. need the straight and the curly is going to be... No, I just... I was thinking just... Yeah. But I mean, piece, Henry's yeah. got the same sort of hair. Mm. So by all means, you have a go on that. And I might say that looks cool. Might looks cooler. So mm. that's the great thing about having two models. Because yeah. otherwise you've got two people with two different opinions giving it. Exactly. We'll keep everything. How are you doing? You alright? Yeah. 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 Get it polka straight away. Bit of a mad day. Yeah. We've probably got the best ideas, but we're not, our opinions aren't. No. I think it's um, no. Do you know my personality, my craziness is gagging to come out of this point. I could shake because I want to get it out, but I, I just think people I are know. just. I think I'm stupid. I feel like putting them knickers on my head and just walking around here going... I know, yeah. <laughs> Have you seen what he was wearing today? Mm -hmm. Just want to see anyone look up, which is like that. You know, unusual pieces for Fashion guys, stylist so Julia has dressed some of the world's most glamorous women, including Halle Berry, Kylie and Victoria Beckham. It's her job to decide what outfits the models will wear on Sunday. Ricardo lends her a hand dressing male model Henry. I like the dirty look of this. So have a look. Let's have a look, see what this uh, this might actually work. While the staff continue to work on the model's hair, head office sends down the verdict on Come Ricardo. See what the news is on Ricardo. Coming up on the salon, will Ricardo be sleeping? It's Wednesday afternoon and the staff are preparing yeah. for the prestigious hair show they've been chosen to take here. part in on Sunday. Ricardo's in the staff room with stylist Julie, helping choose clothes for the models. Maybe try to get... Do you have any piercing at all? No. no. Not Would you no. like some? Yeah. yeah no. He should be out here doing hair. He's not a stylist, do yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, no. It's, well, don't... <coughs> <laughs> He's got a point. They want to make you a junior for the rest of the show. Yeah, right. Yeah. I'll look after you, I'll wait. Right off, I'm not trying to tell everyone that comes I'll stick there. by you. What? No, don't worry, I'll stick for myself. Shit, that's only... It. Ricardo, if you're meant to do that... Please don't argue with me, Susanna. It is a bit of fun. we don't think the same way, me and you, and I've already realised that, and I don't want to argue. Um, is that meant to be right? Right? No, Thank you. All right. Keep Wasn't to yourself. Diary, but... <laughs> you take all the things out first. 
Cheeky, you're cheeky. Cheeky, cheeky, very cheeky. Is everyone coming? I don't like the way that you laugh and some of the clients laugh. Huh? Nothing. Are we coming? No, darling, it's all very nice to have a laugh together, but don't like have a laugh at me. Alright? So, keep that in mind, love. Well, then you should be careful what you say, shouldn't you? Well, I'm well, not taking that. He's, um, he's not very happy, Barney. He's said they want to know. Fine. He's really. I don't know. I don't let people have a laugh at me. Go on, come record it. He's really, he's <laughs> really, really. So I'm going to be a that's right what, bitch now. Yeah, that's what they want. That's what they want. They want to be, they want me a right bitch? Yeah. They're going to get me a right bitch. You know what? Until I can handle. The viewers have been voting on whether Ricardo should be made junior for the day. Paul has the results. Do you want to listen to this? Oh, the sports bar. Oh, don't even go there. Not the moves. Oh. Exactly. You can read it there. I can laugh at Yeah? Yeah. Well, this is just just the viewers' opinion. I don't care what the viewers think. Do you want to open that? I don't know what the viewers have been saying to me. Do you want to open that? I'll pass it to you. You can read it. Drum roll, please. <laughs> he loves it, really, doesn't he? He loves it. <laughs> don't you? Oh. Judicator. Ooh. It's like Camelot. Set of balls, <laughs> number six. Oh, God. Viewers of the salon have been voting all week on the website to decide <laughs> whether or not you should spend the day uh, as a junior. Uh, right, OK. The viewers have decided... <laughs> <laughs> in favour of being a junior, 81%. Ricardo will spend the day tomorrow in this, as a salon junior. Yeah, Your duties right. will include shampooing clients, Forget about it. giving out refreshments, Forget about it. Forget about it. failing to carry out your job. Uh -huh. I walk out. Is that what it is? I Dis lose the job. Disciplinary action. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't need the disciplinary action. Goodbye. <laughs> Don't forget your coat. <laughs>Last night, Ricardo stormed out because he didn't want to be a junior for the day. It's 10 a.m. and Paul's about to start the morning meeting. People having a good buzz, so it's like. Ricardo's twin brother, do not mean. He's doing it here for the day. Oh god, you look like a real fit fella. <laughs> anyway, so today's going to be a bit tricky because the team are going to be a little bit busier, but we've got an extra assistant today, so we should be able to cope all right. Take my hat off to the guy, he's coming here. Well, what I really liked this week, it wasn't, by the end of this week, it wasn't me having a pop at Ricardo. Can I have a word? Of course you can. Right. Mm. I had a difficult day yesterday, very moody. Um, got annoyed with you and AD because you got involved with the models, hardly, me and Sonny hardly did anything, we just sat back there, so that yep. really annoyed me. But I had a feeling <clears throat> that you and AD, everything I was choosing was no, 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 and, and at the end of the day, you know what? I backed off, I said to Julian, let them do the job, so I sat there, with Sonia and enjoyed myself. Basically what it is, I think people find this quite boring sometimes. They want a little bit of fun, a little bit of uh, entertainment. And the other thing is, I just want to say that, you know, I'm really happy to be back and I've been enjoying myself a lot. And um, that's it. We're gonna can I say something? Can I say something? <clears throat> I actually like you a lot, Ricardo, but yeah. there's a fine line between having fun and taking <laughs> this show, all I care about. Perhaps it, I take things too seriously. Is this show? I think that, well, you, that's I all I care about this week. Is that show? Because I live and breathe you my career, and I want to walk into this, that place. This, this is a TV this show. It's too serious no, 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 for no, people no, getting no, bored. No, it's, it's not about to. This is about my reputation when I leave this this building. In a salon environment, a stylist will not become a junior. Full stop. No, so no, 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 no
Saturday you'd be boys sacked, that do a better job than you. You'd be sacked. Oh, is that right? Yes. Now, do a better job of what? Hang on. I've been professional on the floor. Hang on a minute. Oh, hang on a minute. I'm professional. I'm on time. I'm there for my clients. I do good hair. And he clears How up. I dress and how I look has got nothing to do with what I do on the floor. Because this is what it's got to do. You're a prima donna, mate. I ain't got any problem this with you. This is what it's got to do. Guys, guys. Stop. Guys, I'm stop not having a You act like stop an it. idiot. Um, guys. I'll walk because I'm not going to come on a show and look like a I do that already, oh, excuse me. No, you don't. Excuse me. All right, you bought this on yourself, right? Yeah. If I was I managed, if this wasn't on TV and you behaved like that, I would have probably sacked you. You cannot turn up late three times in a week and expect to get away with it. If you was in my salon, you'd be sacked. All right? So we just need you to muck in. Oh, we all do. <laughs> okay. Go. Oh. Oh. Oh, way, God. God, that was an art man, that was. What happened? <laughs> Ricardo spends the morning getting stuck into his junior duties. Brazilian style. AD's <laughs> 12 o'clock client, 50 year old Michael from Essex, arrives. Hi. Hello, guys. Run this way, please. Mm. How are you? I'm all right, thanks. Have you got a no, I'm taking my coat off. Right, OK. You're with AD to say for a haircut. Mm -hmm. And then you're with the lovely Sabrina for a pedicure. Lovely Sabrina. What's she doing? My feet. She's doing your feet. Oh, I've got big ones. <laughs> Sorry? I've got big feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she'll be a about an hour on that. Hi, AD. How are you doing? I'm all right, how are you? Yes, yes, yes. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, oh, mate. How are you? I haven't heard that for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get it out of the way. Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you. OK. Yeah, cool. You did say that. You did, yeah. <laughs> I'll just get it out of the way. <laughs> oh, shut up. See, I was sort of, for the first time in my life, I ain't got a clue what to say. I can't say, how's your last year been? What have you been up to? I mean, I do a lot of big profile people, and it's like, I just treat people like they are, but it's like, what do you talk about there? So where did you travel from? Uh, where did you Essex. Travel? Essex. Yeah, but it wasn't too bad a journey. Traffic? Right. Or? No, it's all right today. Yeah? yeah. You've just got to be, just be yourself. What do you think of the programme? How's it going? What are you doing? What are you going to be up to? <clears throat> do you prefer boys or girls? Or? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. What yep. side's your bat for? <laughs> <laughs> Not to get with cricket. After his shampoo, in Michael C. returns to the chair and basically I went to the awardsman. You're, from, you're not from Essex. No, I was born in Ireland, brought up in Birmingham. Yeah, my mum, I was brought up in Ireland a lot of the time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I've, I've been like that. I've been like a traveller. Yeah. And I went to the... I met this guy. I was a painter and deck. Before that was a slaughterman, believe it or not. And uh, I went to the awards with this guy and he won. And he got, he got me up on stage. And he motivated me. And three years later to the day, I was picking up the same award. Yeah. But I made it happen, <laughs> No, you just told me you're a slaughterman, you know, and ten to a dozen with And then a wave and a pair of clippers around. That's all right. So what's, what's the score at your TV thing now? What are you going to do? Well, well, they're doing negotiations at the moment and uh, cool. whatever I feel is right to do. So There's a great gonna... format that uh, has come along, that um, which is ideal for what I do, which is very off the cuff. So it's a matter of, you know, when, when the time's right. Oh, so lovely. So even without TV, you've still got lots going on. Yeah, I've got. I know, I've got to my AA meetings, you know. And so you still are you? Are you not? No, nothing. I've had no. Really? Been clean and sober twenty months now. You can talk about drink. It's all right, yeah, doesn't it? Like <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's one of those things. Well, yeah. I suppose it's fair not to. <laughs> It's the quietest I've ever seen him, have you done that? Quietest? Yeah. <laughs> it's his life story, yeah. Are you next? You're in counselling at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. He's in doing counselling for everyone. He's, 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 no, you don't get mine. <laughs> no? I'm interested in yours, though. You've had a bit of a roll coaster ride recently. Yeah. How's that all going? Coming well, back? It's getting, it's getting sorted out. I mean, you know, the, you know, there's been a huge change around with the evidence and that, and um, that's made a big difference. There's a lot to be dealt with, you know. Yeah. It's right funky, isn't it? Yeah. Funky. 
Would you like anything else, sir? Oh, I'm absolutely fine. Thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, you see, you go to my... Oh, she goes to my... He's on probation and he's having a jacuzzi with sunglasses this big on and green, <laughs> green underpants. Green underpants. <laughs> you have to answer me one question. Go on then. Do you know what Strike It Lucky race? Did they get the prizes or did they get the money? <laughs> Hi, America. It's Sandra calling here from the salon. Hi, how are you? Who's anybody who's for a donut? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's that? Well, I was a bit hot. I was a little bit too hot. You know, you so I went to Jacuzzi. Is it? Three hours after his arrival, a freshly cut and pampered Michael is ready to leave the salon. Sarah, see you. See you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Take care. You didn't eat my sandwiches. I have one of them. See you, girls. All the best. Ta la. Yeah, nice to meet you. See you again. Ta la. It's late yeah, afternoon, and having put aside yeah, their differences, actually, Ricardo assists AD with his last plan of the day, 27-year-old office manager. Old, yeah. So how come you're late, then, if you live nearby? I don't know. Do you want to get me in trouble, do you? <laughs> no, she doesn't. You bitch, I'm going to burn you with <laughs> He makes a great assistant. He's quite, quite a bitch now. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> Had enough of clients like you coming and having 15 minutes of fame. Yes. Oi. Oi. Ooh. Ooh. You see, I can be a right bitch. Oh, I'm, glad, I'm glad I voted for you on the website now. I know. It's I'm sure genius. you did. I know. <laughs> I'm sure you did. I, I knew that from your... I didn't. I'm no, sure you I did. did. Yeah, I did. Put it. Paul wants to hear your views on his salon. How do you think he should deal with Ricardo next week? Should Sonia get a makeover? Are they all doing a good enough job? Want to have your say? Email salon manager at channel.